know, a Tongan family desperate to gain residence in New Zealand say their daughter will die if they are forced to return home. Maggie and Philippe arrived here on work visas 10 years ago and their two children were born in New Zealand. But 18-month-old Mariah is severely disabled and the Immigration and Protection Tribunal says her health care is a burden and the family faces deportation. But as Jesse Chang reports, Tonga doesn't have the facilities to treat Mariah and her return is almost certainly a death sentence. Little Mariah lies motionless on the floor of the living room. The 18-month-old requires around-the-clock care, has to be fed through a tube through her nose and needs three doses of medicine every day. Her mother, Maggie Tuinukuafelupe Tu'u, says while her five-year-old son is healthy, Mariah was born with abnormal brain function and has a range of complex medical issues. She was in emergency for a whole month um, before we came out home and they said, OK, baby's got this condition, she's, she can't really move, um, she's got diagnosed with epilepsy and the list just goes on. High aspiration risk, severe reduced muscle strength and a hole in her heart are just some of the disorders Mariah lives with every day. A list so complicated that medical professionals in Tonga won't be able to help her like those in New Zealand can. Just hours before our interview, Mariah had a seizure. The occupation therapist came in um, just to find a normal checkup and stuff, and she had a seizure that actually went on and she kept rolling her eyes um, and, and just shaking her head and stuff, and she, we were close to call the ambulance. Maggie Tu Inukuafe Lupe Tu'u has lived in the country for over 10 years. Her husband has been here for eight. They married here, had two children here, and made a life for themselves in New Zealand. Moriah was liable for deportation as the one month visitor visa she was granted had expired. So the family appealed to the Immigration and Protection Tribunal, which has given her until March next year to stay in the country. In its decision, the tribunal acknowledged the health difficulties, but also said Moriah's health had already cost taxpayers $250,000. The family has letters of support from the Ministry of Health in Tonga, doctors from Auckland Starship Hospital, and a social worker asking the government to allow Moriah to stay in the country permanently, due to the high risk she could die if she goes back to Tonga. In a letter to the Immigration and Protection Tribunal, Mariah's developmental paediatrician explained how serious her condition is. Mariah needs the care that can be provided through a tertiary children's hospital and it is very likely that she would die if the family were forced to return to Tonga. In my opinion, it is essential for Mariah's care that she remain in New Zealand. I therefore strongly support Mariah's application for permanent residency. Hello. Hello, baby. The family have always been in New Zealand legally, whether on work or visitor visas. Ms Tuinuku Wafelupe Tu'u has worked in manager roles at supermarket chain Nosh, and her husband Felipe is currently single-handedly supporting the family as a vehicle to Smartler. She says they're not here to abuse the immigration system. We can't actually entitle for any kind of uh, supplement of, of um, renting or anything from WINS. Um, those things, we, we're not eligible for it because we're not residency. So, you know, I know um, we're responsible for our children. So, yeah, my husband actually um, work, but after, our, you know, get paid, rent first, what is the main important thing, food. And, you know, it, it, sometimes we had to live with $30 per week. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's the condition of what we actually go through with. The family has gathered supporting documents together and are getting their local community to sign a petition to back them to stay in New Zealand. They will be appealing to the Minister of Immigration this week to grant all of them permanent residency. If I had to stay here with my daughter and send my husband back, there'd be no one else to actually help me to support. I needed um, pretty much my family to able to grant it residency to continue to find the best life for for my daughter and, and also my son as well. He's five years old and um, he would 
he would never leave her sister. He says, I'm, I'm, I'm going with my sister. I don't want my sister to die. A spokesperson for the Associate Minister of Immigration, Scott Simpson, says it isn't the minister's policy to comment on specific or individual immigration cases. For Checkpoint, call Jesse Chang, TNA.